name is Rick, and I play in a band named Pile. In celebration of our album, All Fiction, we've commissioned Boston Pedal Company Electronic Audio Experiments to bring into reality, in pedal form, an idea that I've been going after for a while. I've been using a lot of detuning on both guitar and synthesizer. I've also been using a lot of parallel harmonies in writing music. Through collaborating with EAE, we came up with the Mirror House, which is a pedal that achieves both of those things, as well as some other stuff. Mirrorhouse creates two copies of an incoming signal which veer off into opposite directions. Approaching pitch shifting from this angle can create weird detuning, disorienting microtonal cluster chords, a seasick warble effect, perfectly harmonic chords, or ugly and strange dissonance. It can also be a chorus. Using the anime control, the amount of pitch shifting tracks the attack of your guitar or synthesizer to produce dynamic vibrato and glissando effects. There are two modes on the mirror house that determine the behavior of the amount knob. In one mode, the amount knob ranges from subtle detunings to microtonal dissonance to a full semitone. In the other mode, the amount knob is stepped in semitones up to a full octave to create harmonies between the upper and lower voices. I've been using a lot of the slop function on my synthesizer, which is, is basically a detune. Using those voices together creates like a both a chorus thing, and it's also very disorienting, but it makes certain melody lines pop out, which is a big part of the idea for the pedal. I feel like as a, both a writing tool and a tool in the studio, it's going to be pretty powerful in terms of creating things that I am not expecting. It's nice to go into a creative place where you have no idea how it's going to turn out. It'd be a really fun thing to explore. When Rick approached us to work on a pedal, I was kind of unsure what he was going to come up with initially. He was talking a lot about detune functions and developing sort of strange relationships between pitches, but the pitch shifting technology that's available for most, we'll say independent pedal companies is a very kind of lo-fi, ugly sort of pitch shifting. So we really leaned into that and taking this kind of harsh, mechanical, primitive DSP, we tried to breathe life into it by giving it strange intervals and dissonance. And my favorite part of this pedal is what we call the animate knob, which tracks the envelope of your playing. So as you play, the, the two pitches generated by this engine kind of bend apart from one another and then come back together in this very alive sort of way. So it gives you a lot of very like kind of reactive, playful, or just downright weird textures. It's incredibly useful for that. It really runs the gamut from musical sounds like these subtle, almost chorus type sounds, all the way to absolute madness, you know, really uncomfortable intervals and just pitch is just jumping all over the place. Even though it's something that is brand new, it sort of feels like it has been with Pile all along in the way that they've explored different harmonies, different melodies, you know, sort of casual detuning or sort of full on chaos, you know, just like the way the music ranges from very melodic to almost, almost dangerous in a way. <laughs> Thank you.
Paddle features art from Nicole Rifkin and will be available exclusively through our online store, and you can pre-order one now.